Hey guys, Ronnie here with our question of the week. This week's question is, should I leave my Bearded Dragon's lights on all the time? Now to answer that question, I'm just going to ask you a question. How would you like to go to bed at night, lay down on your bed, try to go to sleep with the lights on in the room? Probably is not going to be conductive to a good night's sleep. Your Bearded Dragon's the same way. It's going to need both a daytime and a nighttime. So for that reason, we say no, shut those lights off at night. Allow your dragon to have a period of time where he can sleep in darkness. After all, it is the most natural way that bearded dragons are going to have uh, in the wild. They're not going to have sunlight 24 hours a day. So in captivity, we want to give them a nighttime as well. Now, one of the questions people ask about that is, well, what about the temperature? If the lights go out, the temperature is going to drop. Is that going to have an ill effect? I'm just going to simply ask you this. How cool does your house drop at night? If the temperature drops below 70 degrees, you may want to consider some supplemental heat. However, one fact about bearded dragons that work in our favor is that they warm up very, very quickly and they cool down very slowly. With that said, as long as your dragons are allowed to thermoregulate and bask during the daytime, their body will hold sufficient heat to carry them throughout the night so long as your temperature doesn't drop down really, really cold. If your temperature stays at 70 degrees or above, the use of supplemental heat is pretty much a moot point. You don't really need it. In fact, we have never used any kind of supplemental heat with our bearded dragons at nighttime, and our temperatures usually stay uh, around 70 degrees Fahrenheit at night. However, if your house is cold and drafty, you might want to consider the use of a nighttime supplemental heat. And there's a couple of things that people use for that. Number one is a black bulb that actually screws into the socket, just like a standard incandescent bulb. It produces heat, but it doesn't produce light, therefore allowing your bearded dragon to have a little extra heat at night. The other thing that people use is called a ceramic heat emitter. Basically, Basically, it screws into a socket just like a light bulb, but it doesn't produce any light. It's made of ceramic and it just produces a little extra heat for your dragon. Now, you want to be careful with those because some of those heat emitters can get really, really hot and you can allow your dragon to be as warm at night as they are during the daytime, which is not good. They need to cool off a little bit during the nighttime in order to properly rest. The other thing that some people have asked me about is the use of an under the tank heating pad such as what a lot of people use with snakes. Personally, I'm not a big fan of those simply because most of those under the tank pads get really, really hot. And I feel like for an animal that's used to basking with light coming from above, those things can get so hot that if you're not careful, they're gonna burn the bearded dragon's belly. If you are gonna use one of those for supplemental nighttime heat, you might wanna consider putting it on a thermostat. That way it doesn't get so hot that the heat is so intense that it can cause damage to your dragon's stomach if he or she cho chooses to lay on it at night. So guys, we hope that this has answered your questions concerning whether or not you need to use lights at night. By no means should you use light as in light like this. If you need to use supplemental heat, then do so with a product that doesn't cause your dragon to not be able to have a day and night cycle. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week.